What we have here is a custom inertia damper uh, for reducing the recoil on the firearm. Um, I designed this one around the weight of the rest of the gun minus this part. Well, I actually should say minus the weight. Um, everything on it I uh, set up and fine-tuned for the load that I'm using, the weight of the rifle, so I made it as efficient as possible. It's really close. I know I'm going to have to do a little bit of fine-tuning by adding in some shim spacers in here or possibly changing to a slightly different spring rate. Uh, basically what you have is a nice machined out aluminum tube and then this mounts on the bottom of the rifle and then you have a movable weight with a very light spring in the front just enough to return it to give you a little bit of gap on the end here and then a heavier spring in the back which absorbs the uh, recoil from the weight slamming back after it rides off the front. Nice handy little cap with screws on the back and then I put a set screw in it because I have the cap cut that when you tighten it up it indexes and lines up with a nice flat size in there. So it mounts this way that end is the front and what happens is when you fire the rifle, the rifle jumps back. When it jumps back, that weight that you can see inside of here slams forward, reducing the velocity and the energy of the rifle going back. And then as that spring or that weight is launched backwards after hitting the front here, the larger spring in the back absorbs what energy is left and slows it down so you don't get hit so darn hard. But uh, yeah, once I get it all tuned in, um, let you know how it goes.